Coach, a lot to uh, dissect from this game. Do you, do you walk away from this one more encouraged or discouraged? <laughs> a little bit of both. Is that fair? Uh, you know, a little bit of both. Uh, I'm encouraged the way we fought back from a big deficit early. Uh, everybody that played tonight contributed in some way. Uh, but again, 21 turnovers, um, that you, that's, that's discouraging, just the turnovers. Because in an overtime game, when you have that many opportunities to score, and, and a lot of them, some of them was good defense, and some of them was self-inflicted. So uh, if we ever get that... Uh, fixed, then that's going to help us. And, and again, we got to get that fixed to, to fasten the rebuild, because if you keep turning the ball over, you'll never get off the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah, long stretches of really good offense against the top defense. What happened, do you think, in overtime? Well, again, I, turnovers, I would say if I looked at it again, I got to go back and look at it. Uh, you know, shot clock, fighting the clock instead of attacking with pace. Um, you know, fighting the clock at the end, in, in the overtime. So, uh, I thought we stopped playing with pace and, and really running our stuff quick and fast and kind of slogging through it. Um, you know, again, that, that's uh, that's what I saw. Marvin, isn't it the fact that not only did you hit 18 threes, but eight players hit threes, and Christian Wood had his come-out party tonight? Well, I don't know if it's his come-out party. I hope he has more to come. But, uh, you know, that's who we have to be. But, again, smart decisions, playmaking, passing all those things are things that win the game for you down the stretch and that they made simple plays down the stretch and i thought we try to make too many things complicated you know passing in a crowd playing in a crowd instead of kicking it out recognizing switches uh but i was really happy there's a lot of good things that happened tonight but uh again those kind of games going forward we got to pull out uh with good guard play and, and smart play Derek. I'll, I'll let you go with your, your, your final. Go ahead. I was going to say, you could put Derek in at the end because of roll. Come on, sorry. Sorry, Reggie was gas. Uh, gas to make too many turnovers down the stretch. There was just too many. He's fighting the shot clock. Didn't get us into things. Uh, again, that's what was trying to give him a blow down the stretch. And then Derek, uh, you know, just couldn't couldn't get it done. And again, in Derek's defense, you know, you sit out that many games. It's tough. Probably should have went with Brandon, but he hadn't played the whole night. And Derek's been in that situation so many times. The question was with Derek, maybe, did you see, like, maybe just out of sync a little bit? Out of sync. He was out of sync, and uh, I, you know, I expected that. But we needed somebody to give De uh, Reggie a blow down the stretch. He had been in. He had, you know, been in the fray a little bit. Brandon hadn't, so I went back with Derek. Probably should have went with Brandon, looking back. We've talked a lot about, you know, Christian and, and uh, some of the other guys. How about Bruce Brown, another double-digit rebounding night for him? Is he showing you what you need? That's what we talked about. He told on himself, you know, 12 last game, and I don't know how many he had tonight, 11. Uh, we got to have that. You know, guys like himself have to pick up the slack of rebounding. He, done, he did that. He's done a heck of a job of getting into the fray. We got to have more people. You know, I told him before the game, it's like going to a house party. You know, a fight breaks out. Are you going to be the one running out this way? Or are you going back there to save your buddies and help them rebound? And um, you know, tonight he's been do he's been doing that the last couple of nights. And you got to get in the fray. You got to get dirty. You got to get nasty. It's not easy work. You got to have toughness um, to get those rebounds uh, in that situation. How will you handle the All Star break personally? Well, personally, get with my family, enjoy some time off, um, try to figure out how we're going to end these last 25, 26, whatever it is. Uh, going forward, because again, we're we're going in to prepare, uh, like we're going still fighting for a playoff spot to have that mentality. Uh, that's the only way you're going to develop young players, and young people. I think, I think I, someone asked about Christian Wood, um, and I'm really proud of the way he's playing. He's playing at a high level. Uh, he's 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 asking smart questions. Uh, so I'm really encouraged the way he's been handling the situation and playing. Um, for us right now. Do you uh, use the All-Star break to, I uh, guess, make decisions about maybe things you might do, do or tweak going forward? Does that happen at the All-Star break? A little break? bit. I, I thought our zone was good tonight. We, we may play a little bit more zone, 2-3, two, 3-2, three, three, two, whatever it is, um, to help us when we're struggling guarding people, which has got, has got, a, got us back in the game tonight. <clears throat> so we'll do a little bit more of that, try to co go back in my notes, old notes, our uh, zone notes, and uh, get some things in there too. I think the drive of a game on Thursday, is that an opportunity for Sekou to go and get a, an extra we'll game? In? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know the, what the rules are. There's some kind of rules that, uh, you know, players can't go. Yeah, has, two way players only can play over the All Star break, I think. So I ask about that uh, because it'd be good for him to go back and play. Now, after the All Star break, maybe an opportunity for him. 
there to play. So uh, what that time frame is, because he needs to continue to play, and there's no punishment. There's no put down or whatever. It's just another opportunity for him to go play. It was a tough night for him tonight again offensively, but did you at least see the effort? He played harder. There was grit. There was grind in his game. And that's all you can ask for a young kid is just to run the floor, rebound, play tough. He made some mistakes, but they were hard mistakes. And that's all you can ask for. I don't care about missing shots. One thing he's got to learn to do, he sees the fast break, circle it back out. I don't think he's made one yet. So uh, he'll learn. But again, I, I liked how hard he played tonight. That, that was encouraging. Thanks, Thank you, Coach.